just goes so perfectly with this video. What's up, guys? Souls Gaming here, and welcome back to this party. What's up, guys? Souls Gaming here, and welcome back to another chill build slash building with Souls Gaming, because that's what I always like to do. Okay, so huh, as you've seen from the intro, we're gonna be building like Dansmen. So in order to build like Dansmen, you gotta you gotta scream a lot. Okay, I'm actually I'm not gonna scream a lot. We're just gonna build his style. We're not gonna build like him because. If I tried to build like him, I'm probably not gonna have any lungs anymore. Okay, so Desmond style. This this is not gonna be easy to mimic or put in my own style. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best. Dansman, if you're watching this, don't. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off by building this. All right, let me stop your little black butt right there, my boy. You forgot to say something extremely important, guys. We hit. 3,000 subscribers, yo. 3,000. 3,000 of y'all. Smash, smash that freaking subscribe button. And thank you all so much for that. I did not, I never thought I was going to make it here. Unless I was playing Fortnite. But you can still get 3K playing a cube game. So thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. Subscribing to the channel and thinking I'm actually entertaining somehow. I don't, I don't know. Probably because I'm black. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, in honor of 3,000 subscribers, I have something very special planned that is going to involve you. Hold on. Again, I'm getting a f future souls getting a phone call. We are doing a geometry dash meme compilation. Yes, you heard it here first. We are going to be the very official Geometry Dash meme compilation. And it's going to involve you guys. So, here's what I've done. First off, what you have to do is a shameless plug, by the way. You have to join my Discord server, okay? That's number one. Number two, there's going to be a tab, which is I probably put like a little PNG picture on the screen right here uh, over my ugly looking face. I probably put it right there, right? That is where you're going to submit all of your memes to me. Alright, so any dank memes, funny memes, I from any video game. It doesn't even have to be jumped to that. So it can be just like a video game meme compilation or whatever. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoy the uh, me building like Dansman and uh... Hey Dansman, I know I'm not on your video, but um... Here's a little of Dan's Basito for you, right here. So let's go ahead and just make, finish the structure off because this structure is pretty empty. Okay, so um... After studying Dansman's style of building, uh, I, uh, what you need to do is get a circle. Actually, actually, you don't even need a circle. What you need to do is look at your phone charger, right? Look, just look at your phone charger. We're gonna be making that right there, cause that's Dansman right there. Dansman charges my phone every day, and I appreciate his work. But I'm gonna fire him because he's almost about to break on me. Had to do it for the memes. All right, let's go ahead and just move that around right, like right here, I guess. We'll use that later in the video. Uh, yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead and start making the block design right here. So let's go ahead and what color should? All right, first let's make a background. What, what background should we use? Um. Uh. Uh, I don't know what background to use. Alright, we're just gonna use this laser one, because I never use this laser one. Alright, what should we use for the ground? Sucks. That one. So, for the background color, let's go ahead and make... What color should the background be? We're gonna make it... Since it's sold, it's sold gaming, we hit 3K, let's go ahead and use purple. Why not? So, ooh, ooh. Me likey. Me likey that. Now nah, there we go, and hmm, let's go ahead and lower the fade time and make it darker. Yeah, 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 I'm already getting a feel for what I want to do. So, just so I don't get bored, I'm actually going to add a couple of color background pulses, just so you can get a feel of what I'm going to do. One thing about Danzeman's style that I really noticed is that he uses a lot of pulses, but that's what makes his level seem a lot fuller than they actually are. That's, that's good creating tips right there. You don't have to decorate a lot if your level's pulsing like a madman. And we're back. Okay, so what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to uh, delete all this mess that I've made right here. So let's go ahead and just delete that. And we're going to delete that as well. And with the structure too, we're actually going to cut it down to size like that. And we're going to do this and that. We're still going to use the same colors. But we're gonna try something more decent looking, I guess. 
because I am going to be using the black obstacles on the bottom just so they kill you on the bottom, you know, because you have to have obstacles to kill you when Geometry Dash or you're not going to die. Huh, okay. All right, so we're going to use these blocks instead actually no 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 no. we're not gonna use those blocks do not listen to me okay we're actually gonna use this block right here and uh we're gonna use i forget which one's the base so let's see how that looks that looks bad Dansman's style is actually usually pretty colorful as well, so we're gonna, gonna try to make this look as colorful as we possibly can without making it look completely disgusting. So let's go ahead and try this on for size. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually gonna use this and this. Copy paste it a little bit. And we're actually gonna change the hue of it. So like that. Maybe that looks good. Who knows? It might. Um, I actually messed up the hue a little bit. Alright, let's see how this looks. Trying to make the block design look as colorful as possible without making it look ugly. Like, that orange does not look good to me. That That's just me, but that yeah, that orange does not look nice. That yellow does not look nice either. So, let's try going back this way. Mmm, I don't know. Let's try a little bit more. Not bad, not too bad. You can barely see the block design though. So what we're gonna do is, uh, oh God, I forgot to put this in a different layer. Gosh darn it. All right, we're gonna put this in a different layer and we're gonna do what everybody hates and copy paste it. And there we go. Actually, it makes it look a little bit more full and more energetic like that. We can actually delete one since it looks like that. And let's see how it pulses. Alright, yeah, I actually like those pulses. Those pulses actually look really nice. So now what we're going to do is, you know that block that I just said I wasn't going to use until now? Well, I'm using it right now. So let's go out of preview mode. And we're actually going to use these construction blocks right here. There we are. There you are. Okay, let's go ahead and select that. We're going to make a little bit of a structure with these, uh, these little... It's construction things. I don't know why I'm saying anymore. Don't worry, guys. I'm just gonna cut this out the video. Nobody's gonna know I put. Nobody's gonna know why I made this wrong. Nobody at all. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna. Mike, I to turn the camera. Now, what I want to do is a little bit of a, a small effect. It's me doing this. You know, I think I did this effect in my Knock'em style video, but not really like to its extent like this. Oh, I kind of already messed up a little, but it's an easy fix. It's an easy, it's an easy fix like this. Um, um, what color? What color should this be? Before we get into that, we're actually gonna make this glow a little bit just so it can stand out a little more, and we're also gonna make these color one. And how about this? How about we go more colorful as it goes inside, like that? I think that'll look pretty nice. I think that'll look pretty good. Yeah, I, yeah, that looks really nice. And we're also going to make this color too. Copy paste it a little. And put them all on top like that. And we're going to put this in one group. So group one. Then group two. And so on and so forth. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put some alpha triggers down for group 1 through, I believe, 7, I believe. So let's go back to the layer again. I think that's 1 through 7. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and make a tiny little effect with this alpha triggers. And here's a little quick tip for all you upcoming creators. What you can do is you can actually rotate these triggers like I'm about to do right now and like this so say I want the effect so it can go down what you can do is which one's on top one's on top so work the rotate it this way so one goes first and all the way to seven and what we can do since we all have them at the same opacity and same fade time which is going to be zero and we're going to copy paste it and we're going to turn the opacity to zero and the fade time we're going to move that up a little bit like that and we're also going to rotate it like so so you can get the same effect as if you move them over like that 
That seems a little bit too fast, so we're gonna rotate it a bit more so the effect doesn't take too. Oh god, don't rotate it that much though. Let's see how that looks now. That looks much better, much, much better. And we're also gonna make the fade time go by a little bit slower, like that much, I guess. That looks. That, I think this looks good. There we go, that looks much better. Much, much better. So we're actually going to add some 3D blocks inside the block design so it looks a little bit more full. So when we make the objects pulse, it looks a little bit better. Okay, and let's see how much we can do for pulsing for color of the object. I like to make the color of the object pulse black like that. Ooh, that actually looks really nice. And uh, what about color 5? We'll even make that pulse black. That actually looks nice. That's a nice looking pulse. I actually like that pulse. Ooh, okay, so we, we can actually make this sync up with the level as well. So we're gonna do that a little bit like this We're gonna do yeah, we'll just go ahead and add the pulses Pulses make everything look good. All right, let's go ahead and continue with this block design right here We're actually gonna move this block design right here because uh, we can't co exactly copy paste it like I want to So I can't exactly be too lazy with this We're also gonna make a couple of new structures right here just so the level looks a little bit more full also, with Dansman style, it involves a lot of movement, so we're actually going to add a, a little bit of movement for this platform right here. So, let's go ahead and select the whole entire platform, and let's go ahead and link it up together so we don't have to struggle with selecting it all again. And, we're actually going to, yep, there we go. So we're also going to put this in a group, group 9, and we're going to make it move, what is it, 1, 2, 3, 4? We're actually going to make it move up 4. So, move group 9 up 40. And fun fact, each block right here is worth 10 of uh, the movement. So, yeah, so one block is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Just a little fun fact for you kids. And we're going to add a little bit of a bouncing out easing, so like that. It's, not, it's hard to notice because, you know, the trigger so far away, but that's why we're going to do it with this trigger, well, not this trigger, this platform right here, just so it's easier to see. Now, what we can, we're actually going to actually make some arrows. Let's go ahead and make some arrows real quick. So, instead of using this pulsing arrow, we're going to be using one of these slopes here as the little arrow. And we're going to be using these little triangles right here. And we're also going to make these color 5 and color 4. Let's see how that looks. Okay, let's see how it looks in reverse. So color 4 and color 5. Let's see how it looks in reverse. Deselect. Not that great. Not that great. So what happens if I make it color 1 and color 2? If I add some, uh, some glow and some uh, circles around it, it would actually look pretty nice. Pretty nice. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of a glow here. Copy paste it so it looks really nice and shiny. Mm, excuse me. And we're also going to add a little bit of a ring around here. So let's add this ring right here. And we're actually going to make this color 5. And we're going to make the things that go around it color 4. So uh, actually we're not going to use this one in particular. We're actually going to be using this and this. All right, now what we're gonna do is we are going to be making the ground obstacles, and these are what make me really like Danceman style is because these always st stood out to me when they're pulsing. So we're gonna try to simulate what he does. We're going to be using can this rotate? This can rotate, good. But we're actually not gonna be using that. <laughs> um, we're actually gonna be using this one right here, the one that's already sloped and ready to go. And we're just going to make a quick little structure with these right here. And now you're going to notice that there are some small gapes with this little block right here. In order to fix it, what I like to do is I either like to use this triangle or this square. So today we're going to be using the square. And we're going to fill in the little spaces that are poking out. And we're going to fill it up with square. And I'm going to make sure that the square is the same color as the little uh, obstacle that we have. Alright, now that we filled it up, we're actually going to move it over a little. And we're gonna actually going to move it down some. And we're going to put this in a group, group 14. And we're also going to make this color 4. And what we're also going to do, since this is color 4, 
and we're going to go to a different layer and we're going to get these big glows right here and we're going to get a dedicated black color but with low opacity scale this up and we're going to spread this around this little white structure that we made now that we've put moved it at the right appropriate position, we're going to decorate it a little bit. So we're, what I like to do, since I like to be typical and easy going, I'm going to put a little bit of grass here and a couple of rotating circles. And to end it off with the Dansman style, we're going to add a custom background.